time. In this video, we are going to check how you can manage a network object's visibility with netcode for game objects. First, let's understand what a visible network object means in netcode. If a network object is visible to a specific client, it means that the client has a cloned version of this object and this object is synchronized with the server. Now, if a network object is not visible or hidden, then the client will despawn the object and it will not be synchronized, so you can save network traffic. Let's create first an object visibility script. It will be added to each network object where we want to change the visibility. In its start method, we will add this object to the object visibility manager's list of network objects. Now, the object visibility manager will decide for all objects whether they will be visible or hidden to a client. In its fixed update method, it will check if a given client is close enough to an object to see it. It is important that only either a server or a host can change a network object's visibility, so we have to check it first. In this example, we will make the host smarter, so it will only synchronize an object with a client if the client's distance to an object is less than a variable. The network object's network show method will make the object visible, while the network hide method will make it hidden. Now let's check it in practice. You can see that the send bytes have been significantly reduced compared to the default state. If we go to the connected client, the following happens. Only the objects inside the sphere with a radius of 5 will be on the scene. Also, it is possible to set the visibility not just individually for an object, but for a list of objects altogether. Unity has a nice documentation, so I will add the link to the description.